Hi, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And you're here to find out about uncontested paternity actions in the state of Florida. I previously did a video on five things you should know about paternity actions in Florida in which one of the points I made was related to having an uncontested paternity action. From there, I've gotten a lot of comments and people just asking for me to go into more detail. First off, it makes me feel so much better about being a family law attorney knowing that people wanna find ways to navigate the family court system without fighting. It doesn't benefit anybody and the children thrive so much more in an environment where the parents work together as opposed to against each other. If you enjoy this video, please like and also subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when we present new videos. The first thing you want to know about uncontested paternity actions is why. This video is more so tailored to unwed parents. Under the state of Florida, parents who are unmarried when they conceive and have a child are at a disadvantage of having that child having a father. Under Florida law, if the parents are married, the husband is automatically presumed to be the father of that child. However, if you're unmarried, the mother is considered a natural guardian and the child isn't considered to legally have a father for purposes of paternal rights. The goal of this video is to make sure that those rights are established. However, in a way in which both parents are agreeing, whether they're still together or not, it is always beneficial to have this agreement in place to avoid any controversies or fighting in the future. What establishing paternity does is it allows the father to have access and time to the child. It allows you to resolve things such as shared parental responsibility and decision making. And you can also add provisions that will say things like if for some reason you guys don't agree, you guys will go to mediation first or that specific issues, if you don't agree, can be brought to the court. However, it overall gives you a roadmap to navigate your co-parenting relationship. Now, the importance of establishing paternity, uncontested or not, is that if you don't, and you wait too long to do so, you may lose your right to decision-making regarding the child, preventing the child from moving long distances, or putting yourself in a place where financially or emotionally, you're too far gone to really be involved in the child's life. Some advice on how to establish an uncontested paternity action and essentially coming up with an uncontested final judgment which will establish the paternity of a parent to allow for shared decision-making and parental responsibilities if you choose to, to establish a parenting plan off RIP, and to even determine child support the way you would like, you wanna go through a few steps. The most important step is to make sure you have an agreement. It's not uncontested if someone's contesting it, obviously. That being said, sit down with the other parent and really lay out what is it that you want from the co-parenting relationship that you guys are going to have. Now, if you guys are still together, this is a lot simpler. In reality, under Florida law, if you guys are still residing in the same home, you guys can actually defer, so to speak, the full time sharing schedule and the child support. It's just important to note the intent to reside together and to make sure that there is a reservation of the court for that if you guys ever do no longer reside together, that the court can address establishing a time-sharing plan as well as child support if it's necessary. The next thing you should have is an understanding of the paperwork. You may not be aware, but there is Florida Supreme Court approved family law forms, which you can get online. 
However, this specific type of petition or set of documents is not typical. So unfortunately, there is no paperwork that formally addresses an uncontested paternity action. So this is one of those times where I would advise that you seek legal help with a family law attorney to help you along this process. The good news is that uncontested matters tend to be significantly cheaper than if you're gonna to try to go through regular family court to have a contested case. So you should have no problem in finding an attorney that should be able to do this for a reduced or flat fee to help you guys along with this. Because every family situation is different, the documents that you may need can differ. However, what you would mainly likely need is the petition itself, an agreement, whether it be a settlement agreement, parenting plan, or something similar that's agreed to, an answer and waiver, which is something akin to having the other parent sign off saying that they agree to the petition, they agree to the parenting plan, and they're not contesting it, and then a final judgment. Those are the main things that you'll probably need. However, you may need child support guidelines, you may need a financial affidavit from both parties, but it really depends. So again, reach out to a family law attorney who can help you with this, provided that you have all your ducks in a row and that you file the proper petition, you have the proper settlement agreement with the appropriate terms to your case, you have the answer and waiver, and you have a prepared final judgment, all you have to do now is file it with the court. Every county has different rules in terms of how you're allowed to file versus not, especially as a self-represented party. But again, if you're unsure of this or your county makes it a bit difficult, you can always go ahead with an attorney, which again, it shouldn't be that much because this is an uncontested matter. So that's it. It's not so bad. The hardest thing is to make sure that you have an agreement with the other parent and the best piece of advice I can give as it relates to this is to try to do this while you guys are in the best place versus waiting until the conflict starts to happen. And at the end of the day, it may seem like you're quote unquote preparing for the worst, but all you're really doing is making sure that your child or children have both parents actively involved in their lives and making sure that the legal process will not be a barrier to allowing that to happen. So if you or someone you know is considering establishing paternity and wants to try to do so uncontested, please reach out to our office, set up a consultation, and we would be glad to help you. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching. <laughs>